Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Okay, it has been a long time coming, but it is time to get back to the main story. Let's see here. Goblins attacked travelers in the Swifton vicinity. Anastasia decided to find the Greenskin's lair and kill their leader. The girl hopes that when her older brother Lucius will forgive her for being coward. That then, not when, that then her older brother, yeah. Diana, Zetlana, and Felicia agreeing to help Anastasia. The old woman Fed Fedo? Fedot? who lives in the forest in the north of the city, can probably tell the location of the goblin's lair. However, the girl's skills, abilities, and equipment are not good enough to help them succeed in this dangerous quest. They should thoroughly prepare for the trip. We have prepared for the mission by completing the heroine's personal quest. Oh boy, I had like a hundred distractions along the way. Not to mention the preparations on the main quest. But everything that I can do is done. As far as I'm aware, anyway. Let's go ahead and do this. Well, it seems like we did everything we wanted. It's time to find Fedo. I hope the Forester tells us where the Goblin Lair is. Then Anastasia will be able to get revenge for her discreet, unfortunate accident. And to tell you the truth, I don't feel ready. I became a member of the Warriors Guild, but still haven't gotten rid of my fear. You think we'll be... Oh, huh, I just noticed up there in the upper left, the mimics respawn. That's kind of weird, that's like the only enemy that respawns. Anyway, you think by the end of this adventure we'll finally solve this problem with Anastasia's fear? Courage isn't a thing to be learned. However, it's also true for the supreme magic. The meeting with Zaverin brought much more disappointment than real knowledge. Restrictions, pro prohibitions, licenses, and the stupid code of mages. It is simply impossible to find a mentor and become a mage without money and influence. Well, you still find a, a, found a lot of spells. And my healing prayer is still quite weak. What are you talking about? It's twice as powerful as it was before. It's useless. Oh, shut up. One from Anastasia. She admits her weakness. I said shut up! All of this is true, but our search was not in vain. We found new knowledge in the places we did not even expect. For example, I received valuable gifts, and Svetlana learned powerful cursors in the Temple of Laverna. Prayers. Curses. Yeah, sure. Anastasia and I learned how to use magical power in the Sable Bee Church, and when we were looking for the crystal Vitalik asked for, Felicia met a red sorcerer who taught her the fireball spell. Yuri was great. And this is only a small part of what we learned. And even though we didn't get everything we wanted, but today we are prepared much better than on the day when we met at the old mug. You're right. Let's find the Goblin's Lair. If we can get the head of the leader, brother Lucius will forgive me. My reputation will be restored. Yeah, up until your next fight where you need to drink some more rum, Barry. Yeah, I only hope that the Goblin leader will appreciate our efforts and just gives us his head instead of killing us. Come on, it's just goblins. Little cowardly troublemakers. Even woodcutters aren't afraid of them. Yes, but their chiefs can be strong, especially if there is a shaman in the tribe. Do not scare Anastasia! It's too early. Hmm. Onward. We, like, got this. Very encouraging. Are we already lost or not yet? Fidot's hut should be close by now. 
And where is this close exactly? I'm not sure. I rarely went hunting with my father or brother, so I don't remember the way well. So we did get lost. Stop grumbling, Zutlana. If I get distracted and miss it because of you. Wait! Hands up! Oh my goodness! It's our first goblin encounter! These guys have been sitting on the title screen the whole game waiting for us to come kill them. It's an ambush! Oh dear. Surround them! Help! We surround you! You weapons drop or we kill you! Or we you kill. Whichever. We surrender! We surrender! Uh, can we not? Anastasia... You give we money, give things, give jewelry, give everything. Gork, you watch. They are not ordinary people, they girls. Real girls. Right, Mork? Then we take not only... Then we take not money only, but maiden honor also. Dumb goblins. You big, you weak. Uh, we big, you weak. You give we money and honor, then we spare you. Mommy! Don't panic! Fight! Mork! You activate trap! Oh, hell! I didn't notice it. Are we about to go into this fight? But yeah, we're going into this battle already damaged. Oh boy, they're, they're kind of cute. Also deadly. Well, nice to know that a Anastasia is not immediately afraid. Speaking of Medici's Anastasia, courage isn't the absence of fear, it's acting in the face of fear. Very good point. Or in Anastasia's case, though, drinking booze in the face of fear. Okay, well, let's see here. They all have 660 or 600 HP, thereabouts. Archers, oh boy. I seem to recall the archers tend to be most annoying. Okay, I don't know if this will help, but I'm going to try it. Didn't help. And there we go. Well, on the bright side, they're not super strong. We're just at a disadvantage because we took damage at the very start of this fight. Okay, exhaustive haste. Fireball. And Roar on Barry so she can actually take advantage of that exhaustive haste. Oh dear. So they actually can cause a bit of damage. That's unfortunate. Okay, time to start healing. I was really hoping with that exhaustive haste you would already be attacking. Oh wait, no, your attack your turn just hasn't come up yet. Uh I do not trust Felicia to stay alive. Nope. Never mind, exhaustive haste did not come into play. Anastasia really does lose that first turn. Okay, you know what? Just in case. Okay, we're actually not in a terrible position now. I knew it's certainly not ideal.
Uh, I should heal again. Of course they do. Yeah, and for you blame you. I should save up for that. One of these could hurt a lot. You have the most health, though. This will take care of the one in the back. Okay, strike from the shadows. Nice. Not so nice. In that case, enfeebling you some more. There we go. Yeah, that was kind of tough. I need to go buy more some, some more potions. Phew, we won. Anastasia, if you behave like this in the future, our little adventure will end quickly. I understand, but I cannot help myself. Sorry! We should leave it and just chop off the heads of those green defilers of maiden honor and take them to your brother. The end. Chopping off heads? Ooh. If only it were that simple. The heads of ordinary goblins won't wash away my shame. In any case, in the Lucius eyes, I must kill the leader of the Greenskins. Let's find this woodsman then, and when he tells us where the Goblin's lair and their leader are, keep the Baron very close and I'll show them. Definitely healing. We need healing. Okay, that was definitely a rough start, but... Uh, you think we're gonna fight more goblins along the way? I bet you there's gonna be more goblins along the way. I'm assuming to the left is where we want to go, but what's in this direction? Random trap. Bees. What is my level here? Well, I can't level up off of these. I'm already way high in level. Five Deezies, Club Plus Two. What's this? 25 coins. Nice. I mean, not super nice, it's only 25 coins, and things tend to cost a thousands. But whatever. Ring of Life. I don't think that's anything new, but let me double check what it is. Yeah, we got so many of these. Seven of these. You know, if there's anything that I should consider selling, it's these. At the very least, I could sell a few of them. I'm only going to have four party members. Is this going to be an important thing? That trade does look important. But I'll go ahead and check it right now. Darn, it's important. I thought I should... I thought it was going to be like money or something. Well, if I knew it was important, I would have saved it for last. Diana, have you noticed something? Yes, there's something valuable inside the tree hollow. Are you sure? I don't see anything. Looks like an ordinary hollow. If I only use my eyes, I can't see anything too. But my thief vision... And how exactly do you see it? It's hard to describe. 
Thief Vision is something similar to intuition. I can't describe what it is, but I surely feel that there is something inside the hollow. Not bad, for lesser magic. And how do we get there? It's high up. If we have two ropes, I could build us a rope ladder. We'll save it for later. There wouldn't it be something if that was the goblin there? I did not expect the sign to have 25 coins. Oh boy. So now we got some goblin thieving camps. And there's a bunch of goblins too. I'll save them for a moment later. For now, let's see if I can find my way to the hut. That would be it. Ding you green scums! Wanna get an arrow between your eyes? Get in line, lousy brains! Attack them, buddy! We are not goblins! Out, buddy. Girls? What did you forget here in the forest? Looking for trouble? It's not the time to pick the fern yet. Pick the fern? Hello, fellow. It's been a long time. Miss Anastasia? Oh, pardon this old fool. I didn't recognize you. My eyes aren't the same as they used to be. And something is brewing in the forest. Goblins are worse than mosquitoes. That's why we came. You'd like to hunt, miss? Great idea. The Greenskin set up set a camp nearby to the west of the to the west at the edge of the forest. Let's just be careful. There seems to be a shaman among them, and with a tamed beast no less. Yeah, we saw them. It's dangerous for you to wander around here alone. Take this. I hope he says take this. Give us something to fight them, please. We'll keep it in mind, but we need a more formidable opponent. More formidable? My brother Lucius will be satisfied if I bring him the head of the goblin leader. No less. Want to show him what you're made of, eh? Of course, all this is for the sake of the city. We have to teach the Greenskins a lesson not to wander around these woods, threatening peaceful travelers. I... I mean, my friends and I can handle it. I hope we can. If we'll try. Oh, madam. It's a dangerous business. For as long as anyone can remember, folks up top of Swifton were the first defenders to the local people. I have not only seen your father and mother in battle, but also your grandfather and great-grandfather. They beat goblins and rubbers in dozens. However... Oh my! I haven't invited you into the house! Let's go inside. We'll take a break and we'll discuss everything. Here! Have this daisy broth. Freshly brewed. The taste is so-so, but it warms you up. Ew. Isn't there anything else? I mean, what'd you expect from a hermit? I have some rum, Barry, but to offer this simple drink to a noble lady... Bring it! Here you go! Please, here, try this dried meat in a pot. You're probably hungry. Dried meat in a pot... That's gotta be some sort of special recipe or something. Thanks. Thank you, miss. I am happy that you came by. Very generous of you. There is something in all these traditions. Other people are so welcoming. Try meat in a pot. Maddie says that feels like he's poking fun at limited sprites. Sprite resources. Possibly. You think? No, I don't think. I forgot what was said. 
It's not about Fedo, of course, but if you ask the elders, many will remember how they hunted down your ancestors with a pitchfork wielding mob when the tyrant Leonidas eliminated all aristocratic privileges and proclaimed the Republic. They were brainless troublemakers, every single one. Lazy people. They didn't want to work, but wanted what didn't belong to them. Hey! Leonidas was not a human, but a demon from hell. Believe me. If this were any RP any other RPG, I would take that literally. He defeated the Black Knights of the West. Ha! He defeated them, yeah, right. Only by Zerodar's grace did those evil doers fell. Let us leave the past to historians. Let bygones be bygones. Right now, I need to know where to look for the goblin leader and... Have some more room, Barry. Fedot, will you help me? Oh, miss. Drink Rorimberry as much as you like, but goblins are a different thing. There are three tribes near Swifton. Stabbers, Pockers, and Black Swans. Black Swans? They used to be perforators. That doesn't help me. But other tribes made fun of them. So, which tribe is bothering travelers in the woods and near the tract? The point is, all of them. Moreover, they stopped fighting each other. Looks like the tribes were united under a strong leader. I wanted to capture a goblin in the forest and question him nice and well, but they became smarter. They walk in groups, don't fall into the traps, and I'm too old for the direct approach. And goblins don't come to your house? They try, but my dog, Buddy, is always on guard, even when he sleeps. At home, even the walls help. I can scare off the greenskins and bandits quite fine. So, one leader united all goblin tribes? Looks like it. I've been living next to them for a long time. I know their ways and customs. Goblins can accept the authority of a leader from another tribe, but only if he impresses them with his strength, dexterity, and courage. So this means... So it means this new leader is a strong fellow? Extremely strong. Defeating him will be much harder than a group of cowardly goblins. One mistake and it's over for you. Sounds like a final boss sort of thing. I beg you to think twice before going there. This is not a woman's job. Oh, good old Warrenberry. Really good. So you say, the goblins have a powerful leader now. Perfect. I swear by Eos, Zedodar, Amelia, and other gods of light, this is wonderful. Girls, we are so lucky. When I defeat this strong goblin, Lucius will certainly be impressed. I'm sure he'll... I'm sure he will even ask for forgiveness. On his knees. <laughs> but miss, are you sure? Ha! Yes, I'll knock this goblin jerk down with my left hand. You think I can't beat a small green beast? Here she is again. Anastasia, this is Warrenberry talking. I'm afraid that when your head clears up... Be quiet. My head is clearer than it's ever been. We are setting forth. Right now. Yeah, sure, but where to? Fed out? Yes, miss? Pour me more rum, Barry, and tell me where to look for the leader. We'll drink another bottle and continue our journey. I will cut off this jerk's head. <laughs> I do tell, Fedot. Where is the leader? You know, right? I'm not sure, but if you've really decided to go, then I would search deep in the Four Peaks. Goblins don't fancy living in the forest too much. They prefer to hide in caves. Four Peaks? It's the name of a high mountain west of here. The caves beneath it attracted goblins since ancient times, but when people made the road from Whitefield to Sotonovsk, they tried to drive out the greenskins. The mountain was too close to the road. City guards and people from the Warriors Guild wanted to prevent the attacks and drove out the goblins several times, but it's been two decades since the Prefect last sent someone there. I see. 
The goblins returned to the old caves and lived quietly for some time, but after getting a strong leader, they quickly became bolder and began to drop defenseless travelers. It all fits together. Strange that they didn't block the Four Peaks caves. They tried a couple of times, but just made it worse. A couple of tunnels fell, but those small jerks managed to squeeze through narrow gaps, hiding from people. How do we get underground? You know, this is actually starting to sound like Final Dungeon territory. On the southern side of the mountain, not far from the swampy pond, there is an entrance to the cave you can use. I discovered while hunting around. Well, the trumpet calls. Come on! Thank you, Fido. You got intoxication? What? Oh gosh, why are we drunk? I don't want to be drunk. Oh, that's gonna make... Wait. What does the being drunk do exactly? Good day, miss. Both to you and your maid servants. Maid servants? The entrance to the Four Peaks Cave is close. Go west to the southern side of the mountain, but be extremely careful. And I'd rather you call Master Lucius to help you. Yeah, that ain't happening. Anastasia is kind of disowned at the moment. Okay, I need to find a place to risk off this intoxication. Hmm, this huge and scary goblin, the leader of all three tribes. What? Are you sober yet? Um, maybe we should look for another target. And which one? Will defeating a couple of ordinary goblins impress your brother? It won't. But if you bring him the head of the leader of all three tribes, he'll surely be very surprised. I'm afraid that it's more likely Lucius will surprise Lucius will surprise the by our heads on spears along the tract. You're scaring her! We can do this, don't worry. Healing potion. That's good to have. How many do I have right now? Six? That should be enough to fight off the goblins over there. But, um... Oh! The, the intoxication's worn off. Cool! Let's go ahead and fight them real quick.